Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am the Furniture Flipping Teacher. I recently resigned from my full-time job as a kindergarten teacher and now I am here showing you guys how I take old and outdated furniture and give it a new life and a new purpose or inspire you to create something new for your own house. Today, I'm gonna be breaking out some new paint. Well, new to me paint. I have heard so much about fusion mineral paint and I have actually come to find out that a lot of you guys have already tried out fusion mineral paint. So I am excited to put this on some furniture today. We're gonna be making over this chest of drawers and I've got another little fun thing that we're gonna try out when it comes to this dresser and the drawer fronts. It's something that I've been wanting to try out so keep on watching because it's gonna be something new and I hope that it also inspires you to try more and more new things we're gonna start with the first part as always and we're gonna remove the hardware okay we're gonna just go ahead and remove the hardware and keep it because I am planning on using it again on this dresser once it's finished and then I'm also going to take the drawers out. And the person actually already had labeled them before I even received it. So it's really nice because that's a step that I don't really have to do. So lately I've been forgetting for some reason to tell you guys how much I spent on this dresser. So I actually got this in a set of a tall dresser and a long dresser and two nightstands. All together, I got it for $125. So we're gonna say I got this dresser for $40 out of that 125. So I think that that's a pretty good price for this dresser. I think I can get a pretty decent profit off of that. I love that this dresser is still really, the drawers go in and out really nicely and then they even have this here so that they don't just like slide all the way out. That's something that you wanna be careful of. Sometimes drawers, you know, seem like they work well, but then they might just like fall out. So be careful with that when you are getting furniture. Oh, we got a sock. Let's go ahead and clean. So we're gonna be using this Sunnyside TSP substitute to clean today. Gotta make sure you have that degreaser when you're cleaning furniture. Get all of those oils and just griminess off of the sides, the tops, the drawers, everywhere. This is one of the most important parts of your furniture refinishing because this is the first step in prepping your piece. If you don't prep right, your furniture is not gonna last and it's gonna get chipped and it's just, the paint isn't gonna adhere and so on and so forth. So, so I've got my double bucket here and I just like to do that because one of them is gonna be the dirty water where I clean everything with and then one of them's gonna stay clean until the rinse stage. This one is not in too bad of condition. Um, as far as dirty wise, you know, there's a few spots on it here and there, but even if your dressers or pieces of furniture don't look super dirty, you still gotta take that step. All right. Here's your dirty water shot, people. This is not too bad. Like you can tell a difference, but it's really not that bad. But we're gonna go ahead and take this side and we're gonna give it a rinse. So we just need to get all that cleaning solution off as well as any other dirt and stuff that we might've missed. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use my surf prep sander for the sanding portion of this dresser. And we're not really looking to take any finish off or anything like that, but there are a couple of scratches in here that you can see that I just wanna smooth out. But then also this is a pretty glossy, smooth surface. So we do need to roughen that up a tad bit. So I'm gonna be using 320 grit sandpaper to do a scuff sand on the whole surface. Okay, we're done. That only took me less than five minutes to just do a quick scuff sand. And we're ready to wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. Okay, we're about ready for primer, but I want to elevate my chest here. So I am going to be using our furniture pyramids and their painter's pyramids. And we haven't used them in quite a while, but I just always kind of forget about them. I'm gonna try to remember better because they are just a lifesaver. This is just so close down here to the ground and it's really hard to get right up and next to the ground without getting like rocks and stuff from the ground into my paint and paintbrush. So this is just a perfect way to kind of elevate your furniture. It doesn't seem like it would be very sturdy, but as you can tell, like this is not going anywhere. These pyramids really are sturdy and they just make a huge difference. It's time to prime. So we are gonna be using Kills primer. I got it from Lowe's. So this is just a stain blocking primer. I did break through a couple of spots on the finish here. So, you know, I'm not sure if it'll pop through, but since I'm gonna be doing white, I don't wanna chance it. And then also primer is going to give you a really great first coating. So I've got really dark wood and I'm gonna be using a white. And I've actually heard that this white, I got picket fence from Fusion and it, I've heard that it just kind of doesn't have the best coverage, which can happen with white. So I am going to be sure to do at least one coat of primer, maybe even two, just to ensure that um, I'm gonna have enough paint for the whole dresser. Shake it around. And then I've got my pan here all prepped and ready with foil. And that's just for easier cleanup. I'm also going to stir it, make sure to get all those particles down at the bottom mixed in. You know, shaking is great, but also just taking the second to stir also helps make sure all those particles that sink to the bottom are also mixed in really well. And then I've also got my other roller that I had used the other day because I got it wrapped in foil and it's going to serve as my roller for this project as well because you know the primer is really hard to get out of these rollers and brushes so as much as you can save them to use you know once or twice before you toss them the better All right, so for primer on the drawers. So I told you I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different for this flip, and that includes the drawers mostly. I am going to just prime the outsides of the drawers, but I'm not gonna be painting the whole thing. So I'm gonna prime the whole thing, but not paint the whole thing. You'll see what I mean here in a little bit. So I got two uses out of my foam roller here. So I just detached it 
And then it was easy cleanup with the foil, took everything off, and I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this. Now we're gonna wait for the primer to dry, and then we'll get on to some painting. We got our fusion paint. So I am using the color Picket Fence by Fusion Mineral Paint, which is like a warmer white. So that just kind of means it's not bright. And this is actually an all-in-one paint. But like I said, I just wanted to do that coat of primer because I didn't want to risk anything popping through, but also to give it that first coat of coverage. Um, this is really going to give me a good base so that I can ensure I'm going to get really nice coverage with just one jar of paint. And the primer is actually cheaper than the paint. That's kind of why you do that in order to save a little bit of time and in order to save a little bit of paint. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. It's water-based. Don't need a top coat. Let's see. It gives you all of the, the instructions. It says this color will require three to four coats or solid coverage. So it tells you right there. Um, we'll see if I am going to use three to four coats. Again, that primer gave us a solid base. So here we go. I'm going to use a zebra brush to apply this. So what I'm doing for these drawers is I'm only going around the edges because I'm actually gonna be adding something else on the front of the drawers. So only the edges need to be painted nicely. And then on top here in the front of the drawer, I am just gonna you know, make sure that paint on the edges is smoothed out. That way we're not getting any lumps and bumps. First coat of the Fusion is on and you know, it's hard to see the coverage here because I didn't paint on tops, but for the dresser, the coverage is looking awesome. Um, I can see though where if I didn't do that first coat of primer, this coverage wouldn't be very well, um, very good because I still see the primer through this coat of paint. So we're probably going to end up needing those three coats, um, but that's all right because we've got enough paint here. So I had this full can here and it was 16 ounces and we are to right about here now. So haven't used too much paint, so we've got plenty to go. First coat is all dry here and now I've got my brush in here. I just put it in a plastic bag when I know I'm gonna use it again. So for the second coat, it's ready to go. You just wanna check out the coverage of the first coat. You can still see quite a bit, even though I did do two coats of primer and one coat of paint, we're still looking a little dark here, so. And if you saw in last week's episode where we got that bigger canopy, but then it had to take it down and all that stuff, well, we ended up finding a better solution to get two 10 by 10 pop-up canopies to just really shield us from the sun. That harsh sun gets really hot really fast and it's not good to paint in the direct sun anyway. So not only does it help us stay cool, but it also is better for the furniture as well. Usually I am using um, some water with my paint. Well, this isn't technically a chalk paint. It's actually an acrylic based paint. Um, so, you know, it's still water-based, so you could thin it out if you need to, but this is not, it's not necessary to thin it out, in my opinion. It's already really nice and thin and just easy to brush right on. But I don't know if you can tell, but even right here, the section I did has a lot more coverage than that first coat there. Sometimes it gets a little scary when you're putting paint on and you're like, oh my gosh, it's not covering well, but trust me, first coat always makes it look worse. And then as you continue to add the paint, continues to get better and better. 
And with the roller, with the primer, I was having a hard time getting in these cracks, but with the brush, it's nice and easy to just go in there. And then I'm just continuing to use the same motion up and down. You can choose to go up and down or side to side, whatever you would prefer. Just make sure to stay consistent. All right, second coat is all on there. So that's gonna dry for just a little bit and then we'll get going on a third coat. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm planning for the fronts of the drawers. All right, are you ready to find out what I'm gonna put on the front of the drawers? I like drum rolls. We are going to be putting wallpaper on the fronts of the drawers. This is something that I've been wanting to try for a while now. And there's a couple of different ways you could do it. You could do the textured wallpaper, which is gonna come soon, I just know it. Or you could do the designed wallpaper. So I wanted to do a design for this dresser and I'm gonna just be measuring the drawer to see how long I need it and then we're gonna be measuring to see how wide I need it as well. So both say 27 by seven and three fourths. Okay. All right, so this is gonna work, but I didn't do the best job with cutting it. So I think I need to just be on a better, flatter surface. Uh, but this looks really neat. I need to start over on my cutting though. So unfortunately, this piece is gonna be out, down for the count. I just need to find a better surface. All right, I came inside so we can go ahead and use the kitchen table and hopefully this will help me get straighter lines. All right, so what I decided to do is basically cut little oversized pieces and then I'll stick them on and then I'll just cut the excess around the outside. So we got everything cut, let's head back outside. Got my little wallpaper scraper guy. Smooth everything out. Get all those bubbles out. All right, the first one is done. Ah, I like it. And then I'll just have to poke a hole through for the hardware right there to reinstall that. So one down, four more to go. We got the wallpaper on all five drawers. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I gotta do one third coat on the dresser, and then I'm gonna just do some touch-ups around the edges here on the drawers, and then we'll be ready to reattach the hardware and get this baby photographed. I'm just going to be using a really small artist brush here so that I can get along the edges nicely and Really try not to get it on the front of the drawer because that's where the wallpaper is. In some places I cut where the wallpaper was on the edge, so I just wanna make sure to go ahead and eliminate those dark spots. So I'm just doing that with this small brush.
So I know I said that I wasn't sure how many coats I was gonna have to end up doing on this dresser. Um, I could get away with the two coats of fusion mineral paint plus the primer, but you know, I just really think that in order to make this the most quality piece of furniture, even though it's one extra step, that third coat is gonna just give it the finishing touch that it needs. So you don't just wanna give it half of your effort because it's not gonna last as long, it's not gonna look as nice, whether, again, if you're keeping it, you still want quality furniture in your own home. If you're selling it, you want your customers to continue to return or even give that word of mouth suggestion to someone else who may be looking for furniture to be refinished and put in their own home. You can kind of pretend that this is like a top coat because Fusion doesn't require a top coat, so, you know, I would be doing this if I were using a paint that did require a top coat. So all in all, it's about the same amount of time. I am actually curious though, I do wanna use another color of Fusion Mineral Paint because this white is great, but you know, I can't really tell the coverage that it actually has because I had to prime so much. So I'm interested in using one of their colors to see the coverage on that. If you guys are interested in seeing me do another piece with Fusion Mineral Paint, let me know down in the comments what color you think would be awesome for me to try out. If you're an avid Fusion Paint user, then let me know what your favorite color is. Okay, we're finished with painting. And like I said, no top coat needed. So it's done after it dries. We'll put the drawers in, make those holes for the hardware through the wallpaper and then we'll be ready to stage. All right, looks good to me. Our last step is just to go ahead and add on the hardware and it's already got that hole in there. So I'm just gonna kind of line it up. I've got a sharp screw here. So I'm just gonna pop the hole, pop that in and then we'll go ahead and use the same hardware that it came with because this nickel color hardware goes right along with the wallpaper and the white. And it honestly kind of blends in a little bit, which I think I kind of like. That's just gonna give it a nice finishing touch. Something that I've been wanting to try and I'm so glad I finally did. I think that this dresser was perfect for this because it's flat. You know, some drawers have that little lip on the edges, but this one is just completely flat. And I think that that really makes a difference with this wallpaper and how it well and even it went on. All right, this baby is finished and I love it. <laughs> I love the way that it turned out. The wallpaper just gives it an extra dimension. And like I said about the hardware, you know, this is the perfect color hardware because it blends in, but yet it's still there. Okay, let's talk about the fusion paint. I enjoyed using it. The fusion mineral paint goes on really nicely. Um, it was easy to manipulate and the coverage, you know, decent. And again, this specific color didn't have the best coverage, but that's another reason why I want to try another color. The finish on it is a matte finish, and I always love me a good paint that has an all-in-one that you don't have to do the top coat. Top coats for me are, I know they are essential, but also it's like the piece looks done. Why isn't it done? But you've got to have that protector. This built-in top coat eliminates that step. So I love that quality about the Fusion Mineral Paint. So I did three coats of the dresser, but not including the drawers. And I've got half of this about 17 ounce can here. So, you know, it, even if I would have had to do the drawer fronts, I still would have had plenty of paint to do those three coats. Um, I think and hope it'll be only two coats for full coverage with a more solid, color a more dark color i guess instead of just the white white always tends to need more coats for full coverage because it's such a light color it makes sense so 
There's the picket fence fusion mineral paint piece. It is finished. So now it's time. We've got it staged here. We're going to take some photos. We're going to post it on Facebook Marketplace. Again, I got this dresser for $40. The wallpaper I actually got on Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description. That cost me $30, but I did not use even close to the whole amount. So let's just divide that by about, let's just say third. So let's say I spent $10 on the wallpaper and then the paint was $20 but I only used half so that's another $10 so we're in all in at $60 for materials and the dresser I'm gonna be listing this at $225 and we're gonna see what happens, how my market loves or not loves the wallpaper. I know I love it. All right, we got this listed over on Facebook Marketplace. So while we're waiting for it to sell, I wanna tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. I have been exploring Skillshare and I have found several different videos and topics that can relate directly to furniture flipping, such as interior design, social media, photography, marketing yourself, and things like that. I often get the question on how to build your brand and how to get your name out there. So I have actually found this class that I am super eager to take. It's called Personal Branding, Crafting Your Social Media Presence by Kate Aaron. And I'm excited to take this class because it's just gonna give me that extra level of branding our FFT. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So if you're interested in taking a Skillshare class, they have graciously provided us a link down below where the first 1,000 of my subscribers who click that link get a free trial of their premium memberships so you can begin exploring your creativity. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get this dresser sold. Well, I guess I was the only one that loved it so far. We still got the piece and we actually took it over to our storage unit because as you can see, we've got so many more projects. So there's no need to sit and sulk about it not selling in a few days. It will sell in time. Actually, the green dresser from Monday's video sold for full price. We'll be delivering that here tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. It just takes some time sometimes when these more unique pieces step out of your comfort zone, but don't get frustrated if it doesn't sell in those quick days like maybe a more neutral color would sell. I've still got stuff that I'm sitting on for a few weeks now, but I'm really trying hard to be patient and not get frustrated, and I hope you guys are doing the same. So let me know down in the comments if you guys love Fusion Mineral Paint or if you've never tried it before. Are you gonna try it, and what color are you gonna try? Also, let me know if you guys liked the wallpaper addition to the front. Maybe next time I'll just do one drawer as opposed to all of them. Maybe that was a little bit too much on the front. I don't know. Tomorrow is FFT Friday over on Dixie Bell's channel, so be sure to go get subscribed over there. And then we'll see you back here on Monday for a new color launch that I'm doing with Melange Paints. So get subscribed down below here on our channel and follow along on our journey of helping teachers pay down their student loan debt and helping them with their classroom expenses, as well as us saving up for a down payment on a house. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a few new things today. I'll see you on the flip side.